Hey everyone, so this is going to be a eraser or rubber collection and I'm just going to show you like all the rubbers I have. So the first rubber is the Smeagol, um hard shaped eraser and I think it's really, um, it, they don't have this anymore because I checked on the right website and it wasn't there so I think it's like, yeah, it's, um, they don't have it anymore but it's pretty good and I have used a bit of it as you can tell from like these parts and I might just say smiggle there I'm not sure you can see it but yeah it's a smiggle there then I have a skull eraser mm -hmm. from smiggle and one of the bones fell off and I have used this quite a lot because it's really good and it smells like amazing smells so good and um yeah it works really well as well so smells good looks good um works good so that's pretty good but this make this one doesn't smell that good so yeah i have the stapler um eraser and this is the one i currently use for school because i it erases unbelievable it's just it doesn't leave anything on the page it's just amazing and um you can do that so you can hide it and stuff and you can lock it so you can know it's pretty good and I have a refill for it and it's in red so if I took the refill I took this out then I would put this in like that and I would be able to yeah but I don't need it yet because I have this And then um, my old one was this one, so this used to be as big as this, but all the friction weird out, and so it's tiny now. And it doesn't fit in here because if I put it in, it just falls out. So there's no point, and I just keep this at home. And I have a high polymer eraser, which isn't that good, and it's by Pento. So yeah, I cut some of it off because it was. Um, really sticky because I kept it in my um, other box and there were like glue all over it so I just cut it off yeah just cut it and I have this Westcott one and it's the same as the last one you kind of do that but um, it has these like like bristles I think and then you kind of like after you you um, erase you can just like swipe everything off but this is kind of annoying because when you erase it bends so it's not that good but the eraser itself is pretty good so I have it's awesome and then I just have this refill for it and it's by Westcott then I have this ladybug eraser that is really bad but it looks amazing it doesn't smell though and um it's I got it from Paper Chase and, whoops wait let me just get that and um, has this hole at the back so you can put it on your pencils it's like pencil you can put it in here yeah, and then you can just wrap it there and then you can erase but isn't that nice so see so no point having this at the back really yeah maybe I should put it in here instead because this is pretty good then I have a state lab combination Razzoplast eraser and why it's a combination is because if you take this out you have this end which is like for pencils and this end is kind of like a different texture it's really hard and it's like um kind of like sandy and stuff and it's for um pens so you can erase pens but so if you want me to do a review on this, I will, and um, comment down below if you want me to do a review on it. And so yeah, this is pretty awesome, but, and it's by State Bar, so yeah. Then I have a Karen Diak of Switzerland Artist Arizona, and I use this for my artwork. And so it's all green, and um, just has this colored protector getting dirty so it's pretty good I think and yeah just good and lastly I have this awesome eraser and you just do that and um, it's really small so like I kind of think it's like an erase of small mistakes if you make a tiny mistake then you can like just erase a bit of it off 
so I have used quite a lot of this. When I draw, I like to erase like the edges because um, if you go over a fine liner and you use a proper eraser, it kind of smudges the the black ink. So I use this to just go the sides, and it's pretty good. So these are just all my erasers, and um, I know it's not a lot, but I don't need a lot of erasers. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.